Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome to lecture number three. This is about numerics. So how we play around with numbers in Python and also lists and arrays. Um, we'll be introduced with math library where we use multiple trigonometric and other functions to play with numbers and we will also get introduced with a numpy library as a bonus which will serve as array so what is the difference between list and array with the continuation of this lecture we'll get introduced with that as well so in order to play with that we have to start spider you can click on windows button and then click on anaconda and then either start with jupiter or anaconda prompt or spider as earlier we will keep working with spider so for, so first of all math library in order to load the math library you have to import it so let us import math as for example a variable m so now on if we'll use m that will means the math library so for example if you want to find a sine or a cosine of a of a radian angle you can use sine or cosine function of math library as follows so you will write m dot sine and then for example angle we need is pi by 2 which is 3.1415 divided by 2 so it's almost near to little bit less than 90 degrees so its sign must be around 1 similarly we can do tan of pi for example 3.14 which is almost 0 so you can also find out the sine inverse cosine inverse tan inverse hyperbolic functions and so on now for example we have a case of this triangle who which has a hypotenuse at coordinates 1 1 and 2 2 which means the base is one unit length and height is one unit length and we find out we need to find out what is the length of the hypotenuse for that we have a function called hypot so let's use that which is m dot I thought so the length of the base is 1 and the height of the altitude is also 1 so this triangle will have the hypotenuse of 2 under the root length so let us press enter for this so it is around 2 root let's check it out with some with another function which is SQRT the square root. So let us see what is the square root of 2. So n dot SQRT and then 2 and so it is the same number. Now because we are using the 3.7 version of Python, it does not have the disk or distance function available in math library, which is available in 3.8 version. So we cannot use this. So let's let us see how to actually figure out what functions are available and what are not available in a particular library for example for us in math library for that we can use help command so you write help and in parenthesis you write the name of the library so currently m is used as math so let us figure out what are the available functions and constants in math library so let's press enter to this so it's a huge list of stuff which are available in math library for example the constants or data available in math library are the exponent infinite not a number pi and top which is actually equal to 2 pi so to access that you simply say m dot pi and then press enter so you get its value 
so let's say if you want to find out what is the value of 2 pi so you will say 2 multiplied by m dot pi this will be 6.28 which is actually also the tau function in it so let's check that as well m dot tau enter which is the same value so if you want to show or write infinity you have to write m dot inf which will represent infinity so beside this there are there's a list of functions that are available like tan square root we just used we also used sine so what are these functions for so let's figure out the this function is it listed in it or not because we know it is the older version it has not that function available so let's figure it out and if we go alphabetically in d you will see the only function available that starts with d is degrees which convert angles from radians to degrees so let's use this function because this is one of the next thing we need to do so for example if you want to convert 45 degrees into radians you will write n dot radians 45 which is quarter of pi so let's check this out is it the quarter of pi is the m dot pi by 4 yes it is so if you want to convert an angle from radians to degrees you have to write m dot degrees and then you will give your angle in radians for example 3.1415 divided by 2 is 90 degrees almost 90 degrees let's check it out and yes it is there are log functions available in math library as well for example n dot log which is the natural log of for example 3.71828 and which is the value of exponent so the natural log of exponent is actually equal to 1 so if you press enter to this which is almost equal to 1 but if you say n dot log 2.71828 comma 10 so this time it is going to find out not with the natural log but with the log to the base 10 so let's check it, check it out it's 0.434 but also in math library we have a function which is called log 10 which is log base 10 so let's check it out for 2.718 as well which should give us almost the same number which is true so if you want to find out log of a number with any other base for example 2 you can also find it out with simple log function now because the distance function is not available which actually takes the coordinates of the first and the second point to find out the distance between them let's use power and square root functions to simulate that in Python 3.7 version. So for the same case where we have first point as x and y equal to 1 and 1 and x and y as the second point equal to 2 and 2, let's find out the distance. So we will write n dot the square root of power n dot n dot power of x2 minus x1 comma the power of 2 which is square plus m dot power of y2 minus y1 with the power of 2 and these parentheses closed for square root as well if you press enter is the same answer as 2 root we can also do the same by a square root of 2 minus 1 with double status to the power 2 plus 2 minus 1 double asterisk 2 press enter it gives you the same answer and we can also do the same thing by actually finding out the x2 minus x1 to the power 2 plus y2 minus y1 
to the power 2 and whole to the power of 0 0.5 which is square root it gives us the same answer so this is how we can play around with numbers in several different ways in python now let us see a case of a list in python so imagine there is a beam and this beam is made up of steel and it has a depth of 8 inches, length of 36 inches, and width of 3 inches. The left support is a roller support, while right support is a hinge support. So we can actually store all these in different variables. For example, L equals to 36, D equals to 8. And if you click on the variable explorer, we can see that we are storing all these. In these variables now so B equals to 3 inches left support equals to roller right support equals to hinge and material equals to steel Now all, all these variables have, have uh, these values, we have stored them in separate variables but in the form of a list we can actually store all these different strings and integers or maybe float numbers in a single variable. So let us create a variable called beam and let's say is equal to in box bracket we are going to write all these values so its width is 3 its depth is 8 its length is 36 its material is steel its left support is roller and as a string and its right support is hinge in a string and when we press enter we'll now see there's a single variable which stores all different types of numbers. Now let me write beam, press enter to see how things are stored. Now this is called list and in list we can store any type of things in any order we like. We can access them by writing for example beam. This is the zeroth element so if I want to get material it's zero, one, two and third values. So I'll in the box bracket write 3 and press enter so we can get the material. Now if I want to find the, if I to get the length only and want to find the square of the length for example, I can write beam 2, so you can see it's 0, 1, 2, the second value here, which in reality is the third one. Now to the power 2, press enter, so it is going to give us the square of that so we can use it in any formula we like like this if you want to get the first three values from this list so you can write from 0 to 2 which means 0 is giving us the first two values and if you want first four values you can write like this if you want the from the 0 1 second to 4 we can write like this way and if we want all all after third so we can write the 3 and colon simply so all colon all after the third we can start counting them in opposite way as well for example in forward way we can count them as 0 to 1 2 3 4 and 5th element 
In opposite way, we count them as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and minus 6 values. So, for example, if I want to get this value from this side, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But from here, it will be minus 1 and minus 2. So, let's check both of them. Screen 4 is roller, while green minus 2 is also roller. So again, minus 1, minus 2, or from this side, is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in the list, we have, we can store values of either integers or strings as a mix of them. But in array, we have a different case. All the values in an array must be of same type, either string, integer, or maybe float. So let us convert this into beam list into array and see what happens. So first of all, let's print the whole list again. You can see these are integers and these are strings. Now, in order to use array, we have to use numpy. So let us import the numpy package or numpy library. In order to do that, we have to write import numpy as, for example, np. We press enter. So now we can say beam2 is equal to numpy np.array. And let us convert the beam list into array of beam2. So let's see what happens. Press enter. And now again, I list the list beam. And now I write beam2, which is actually a, an array, not a list. So if I press enter to this, you will notice that every value in it is a string. So actually, NumPy realized that this is a list which has some strings as well. So it converted all other integers or maybe floats into a string. So let me create another list, for example, one, two, three, four, and five. We press enter. So let me check that a, a this is a list. Now let us create another array out from this. So b equals to numpy dot array convert a into array and store it in b so let's press enter to this and see what is in b so now you can see these numbers are not in quote while here after conversion these numbers were in quotation now if i list a and here i say let's change the third element which is 0 1 2 3 to a string called for example other so let's see now what we have in a we, this is a list which can have different types of values but now again by up arrow key convert it back into array and store it in b so when i do enter and we check b again so this time not only adil is a string but all other numbers are also in single quotes, which are string. So B was an array earlier, but array of integers. But this time B is an array of strings. So NumPy makes sure that array is of all same types. That is why this array function is used commonly in NumPy to define matrices, because in matrices, all the values have to be float or integers or maybe variables but all the time there have to be of same types this concludes this lecture